This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. The program transverses the fruit list. That just means goes through it to print out all different fruit types. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yep, it does. <laughs> Add code to transverse and print out the vegetables list. Got it. So let's look in data. And we do have... Interesting. Did they put it? Oh, they have it right here. Okay. And then... Oh, there's vegetables. So we want to transverse. We want to go through the list and print it out. Well, we can essentially copy this, right? So I'm going to go to control and I'm going to say for var i. This is going to probably, will JavaScript allow us to do that? I'm going to change this since we already have i up here. I don't want to redeclare i. I'm going to put j here instead, which will work just the same because it's a variable, okay? So for, because we already have I up here, we can't make I and then try to remake I with another bar. So for J is equal to zero, J has to be less than four, add one to J on each loop. Let's go ahead and just put in a council log. And it's interesting that they're doing this. Notice that they're using this variable right here, fruit, and they're grabbing one of the fruits, putting it into the variable fruit, and then printing it out. If you do that, it is a good idea to have your variable declaration above it. So you don't make the fruit variable over and over again. You're just changing the value. Another way you could do this though, is I'm going to delete all of that and I can just directly put in here vegetables and I don't have I, I have J. So this isn't going to print them all out. I'm going to hit run and notice here are the vegetables I eat, one, two, three, four. Well, why is it only printing four? Well, that's because we got to change our loop. I told it to, J must be less than four. So J starts at zero and it says, okay, new variable, we're gonna use J to keep track of how many times we run. All right, J must be less than zero. J plus plus means J equals J plus one. Add one to J each time. Okay, so run this code. J started at zero, so J is zero. Console log vegetables, j so what's j right now zero the zero index is carrots okay we hit the bottom zoop, j plus plus so what was j used to be zero zero plus one that's what plus plus means is one is one less than four yes so it runs again council log vegetables one what's the one index that's onions boop now j is two what's two index celery boop now j is three three is less than four what's the three index broccoli and boom hits the bottom plus plus three plus one is four is four less than four no and so it's done running actually that might be the entire oh this is only four items long it's still better to get into the habit of doing not fruits but vegetables dot length or whatever list dot length whatever array dot length for a loop because that makes sure you don't mess up with this count or if you add something to your list that you always have the correct length that we always go through all of the items all right let's try it again and perfect cool onward